Yeah. At least wait to, in uh, see if your family says anything. Maybe you are overheated. 104, man. You're not used to 104. I know. I'm not. I hate it. Hey, Bring on okay. snow. Let's get some perspective on this because I'm always getting these sort of questions. I wanted the manager's point of view. So the scenario is this. Vlad Guerrero Jr. has a big personality. He's always smiling when things are going great. Smiling sometimes when things are not going so great. From your perspective as a manager, when you see somebody smiling or looking like he's having a good time on the bench, on the field, and your team's losing or blowing a lead or anything like that, what's your perspective on that and how do you handle those situations? Dave, that's a good question. That's a tough question, to be honest it is. with you. you know, cause, cause we're, we're all different, right? Managers, different personalities. I don't consider myself really old, but I come from that generation or that age where, you know what, those kind of things, I mean, you, you just don't do them, right? But in, in uh, Vladdy's case, you know, I guess if I was that good at something, I'd probably have a little more fun too, you know? We all have different personalities and different guys take different ways, you know? But, you know, the game has definitely changed. That's probably the reason. Yeah, probably. I, I, it's different perspective too in this kind of year and this this style of baseball, right? Big time IL problems for the Jays, Bichette, Chapman, Swanson. Now Dano's gone down as well. So Jensen could be out actually for a month, they're saying, just because of how serious the injury might be. I wanted to ask you this, with all these guys out, we're seeing a lot of Buffalo Bisons and, and new players that Jays fans aren't used to. Out of everybody that's kind of come up and made their way here to Toronto, who has the best chance to be part of this starting lineup next season if you think about it those are key injuries right but the guys that have come up have done really well you know especially you start with Snyder he's been dynamite since he got here right and, and Horowitz has had a big year down there in AAA Clement's come up they've done a nice job so they're filling in they're just those grinders type you know they're hard nose those three guys I guarantee could be hockey players if they knew how to skate they may not have been a Shoot, but if they could skate, they would probably fit the mold of a hockey player, right? So I know that Blue Jays fans probably love that. That's why it's so important to have a good minor league, right? And have some yep. guys that can come up and fit in because it's, people are guaranteed to get hurt. But as far as who starts next year, like, gosh, if, if Schneider ain't on that team, I would say he's earning it if anybody is, you know? You bet on him, I would think. Does that mean that with a Schneider moving into a second base spot, they could say goodbye to Whit Merrifield just because Whit might be a little too pricey for the Jays? No, he's too good a player. But you, you know what? I think it all comes down to two. There's been a lot of money put into the team this year, right? Things end up like everybody expects them to. You know, there's, there'll still be money churning. There'll be money. There'll be money to spend to sign whoever they want, right? You know, you could put him in the outfield. He plays so many games in the outfield, second base. You put him anywhere. Out of all the free agents, Whit Merrifield is the guy I want returning next year another hockey player i guarantee he can play hockey but he might be too much of a pretty boy to be a hockey player though. <laughs> thanks for this john all right david good seeing you want more john gibbons takes sports interaction is the official gaming partner of gibby join us every wednesday and friday for gibby's takes around major league baseball and of course the toronto blue jays click the link and subscribe to our youtube page today